Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'll be reading is 1,229, and this is called Downsize What I Do. I think this is a really deep piece. You see the pressure and the anxiety of a person because they are being told they are not adequate by the person that is supposed to be someone that they love. It's a really hard place to be, but if you don't have the support from them, what you were hoping for, you have to find a way to create it yourself, even if you have to start all over. <clears throat> Downsize what I do. I'm so damn tired of wasting my ink on you. I despise how my temperature rises. My heartbeat races even faster than the last time. No matter what, I can't control it. This happens when I'm around you and every time I think I can give you another chance, you say something, you do something to destroy the foundation we were trying to build to make me feel less of everything that I am. Think of something else to do because that's not going to save you in the future. Then there I shrink an inch more. My insecurity shatters, my sex appeal fades, my voice gets lower, my weakness highlights, and that person that was so confident in the selfie has been lost in translation. This is who I am. As a matter of fact, this is who I've always been because this is what you make me feel like. I'm so damn tired trying to defend my worth and the words that I was trying to say, the words that were converted into poetry, the words I wanted to give back to the world are now smearing on the walls. The ink is running off and so are my tears. I despise how I can write something so powerful and have effect on others and yet still feel like it's not good enough. And sometimes I wonder, is it really me that thinks I'm not good enough or is it my mother's voice? And then when I say it to myself, Think of something else to do, Andy, because that's not going to save you in the future. Then there I shrink more and more and more. My insecurity shatters. My sex appeal fades. My voice gets lower. My weakness highlights. And that person that was left over has diminished into even smaller pieces until there's nothing left. I can't even look back at myself in the reflection because I don't know who he is. And even though I know you can never do what I do. That doesn't even make me feel satisfied because there's no honor or respect or something for you to be proud of. Just me.